Oh my gosh. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's upload, we're gonna be getting our steps put on. We're gonna paint them first, obviously, right now, let them dry. And then we're gonna get the steps put back on the cab, hopefully is the goal. And then get our stacks mounted. I went and bought a bunch of stainless hardware um, to get our stacks mounted. And then uh, got some big updates and pretty exciting news for you guys on today's channel. And hang around for the end, I'm telling you, you do not want to miss the end of this video. It is going to be epic. Big, huge announcement. So let's jump right into it. Well, folks, I got the steps all painted up. They are now currently gloss enamel black. Um, but I also went and spent like $40 on stainless hardware. So the bolts we put into that top um, mount for the air dryer, we're going to be taking all those out and putting new stainless hardware in it. I got enough stainless hardware to hold these stack brackets too that like clamp the stacks down. And I also got, these are 3 8 bolts, we got half inch bolts to hold the chain racks on there. And we're going to um, bolt those up for now temporarily and then after uh, we get a truck mobile and stuff like that, we're going to um, weld them on when we get the bottom bracket on there too. So, that being said, we're going to get all the hardware to go bolt the um, air dryer up completely to where it's not going to go anywhere. And get it tightened down and then we're going to start getting these stacks set up there and getting them drilled. <laughs> Bottom ones in. Yep. There you go. Here's two washers and two nuts. Put those on the bottom. Hold the nut or hold the bolt. Also guys, um, while we're right here looking at the transmission, I'm gonna look into converting this transmission into a 13 speed from a nine speed. You wanna tighten them up yet, just, um, just get, get the nuts started on. You got them started? Yep. All right, let's take the top bolts out. Do this side first. Yep. stacks back out. I think this is the lower one. I bottom. Think. Yeah, the bottom. So, I'll put that right in there. It's shorter. See, well, this might be the top. So, I think the top, I don't know, we gotta open up the elbow. You can see how the elbow joins together, right? I think that's the bottom one. Yeah, that yeah, one right there's the gotta bottom. be the bottom. We had to, when we put them together the other day, we put them together wrong. Yeah. So everyone, I've got the battery box back bolts unbolted, but the front are rusted out, probably from battery acid and stuff like that. And this battery box is actually made out of aluminum. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is instead of completely just removing this one and only and putting, we are going to get the other battery box put underneath the headache rack, and. And it only holds two batteries, so instead of only having two batteries, we're going to cut this one in half, or actually cut it, uh, I'd say, like two-thirds of the way in half, so we can run our exhaust through here. Um, then we're going to run two batteries right here. I'm going to have the neighbor, Corey, probably make me a custom battery box cover so that we can keep that electrical panel over here bolted up to the other side. So I'm going to get the bolts are going to have to be torched off because they're so rusty, like I said. So we're going to hack those out of there and... Uh, Get this battery box out of the way so we can get our stacks mounted up and get our measurements all set.
goes the battery box right out of here. There we go. Only battery box removed. That opens up a lot of space, huh, Bub? No, oh, yeah. So this right here is like the cab, like the mount. And so we cannot remove that one. Well, it's like cracked right here. Ooh. From probably the cab just beating and flaming on it. And this side's worn down where that bolt is right there. So I think what we might do is see if Corey's um, aluminum welder will reach over here or if he can come over. And um, we'll unbolt this right here and um, pick it back up to where it's straight because you see how it's kind of leaning. And. Um, Tighten it back down, then let him weld that up, and I should take care of that problem. And then if there's a crack right here, we man bolt this whole cradle right here and let him weld that up completely. Hey Bruce, are you going for the uh, mullet too? No, I went and got a mohawk today just to make Amber upset. <laughs> all right, let's get this cab jacked up all the way. So while I'm jacking the cab up here, we've got big news tomorrow. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be doing a winch at Wednesday, even though I know everybody wants to see that. Oh, I forgot the hardware is right here. The steps. So I know everybody wanted to see another winch at Wednesday, but I broke the input shaft in my um, Cummins, the white truck, so we can't winch anything. The transmission's broke. It's gonna be a couple weeks till I fix it because it's not really a priority to me right now because um, I got the Ford to drive. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, Winch It Wednesday is x for this coming Wednesday. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be working on the engine, finally. I know you guys have been asking about the engine and the shape of the engine. The engine and the shape of the engine or the condition of it and stuff like that. So, um, I did talk to Brett at Industrial Injection. And they are 100% on board for a full sponsorship for a brand new. Um, I'm pretty positive they're going to be sending us a Borg Warner turbocharger. I'm going to be pulling the injectors out of the engine and the injection pump off of it and sending it all out to them so that they can go through, rebuild, revamp, and give this baby some more horsepower. So that's going to be happening tomorrow. To make sure you turn in, tune in tomorrow if you want to see us tear the engine down and take the turbo off of it and get in these valve covers and stuff like that. It should be exciting. We might be melting some more bolts off, right? Yeah, that's true. So. It's cab jacked up. That's so we're gonna be working on the engine tomorrow, so we'll get it completely out of the way for now. Is that it? No, that's not it. It's gonna go more. Yes, we have our safety latch here. Yep. I don't think it'll be tilting backwards at all, but that's it. Well folks, I've got our holes marked on the um, headache rack here for we're gonna mount our clamps. So we're gonna run some holes through here. Biscuit. It moved, but we'll make it work. should be right on the money well with much frustration and having to cut freaking bolts off because the stainless hardware that we got from the hardware store yes I know you can't impact it I found that out right there I forgot it's been a while since I did any stainless so right here I tighten these down by hand nice and slow and they just bound up we had to torch them off so I found some shorter stainless bolts that are the correct ones that work right I guess of ace hardware had the wrong cut on these bolts or what but it's there. It's kind of I left it a little bit loose that we can adjust the stack side to side so make sure it's straight. But I'm gonna go get the middle portion of the stack. We're gonna get it put in here and um, get the elbow on the bottom of it and try to get um, just this part at least mounted. And we're gonna have to get another clamp to go around the top of them because um, the headache rack it actually isn't tall enough to um, do both tubes. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna get the other piece put in here right quick. We'll probably hold it up. Which one did they say this was the middle one here? This one yeah that's the that's the middle one this one goes on top sure yeah i'm sure okay. all right you got this you got the elbow noodle there yep we gotta be super careful sliding this one through the top of that so it doesn't scratch <clears throat> and you got your noodle there i think we're gonna 
do. I set the noodle on the tire for the well, second. What I think what we'll do is we'll put this right here, and we've got we'll you find out how far down in the noodle this needs to go. We'll tighten up the top clamp. Well, folks, there it is. Noodles in place. Well, folks, got the stacks up there. Well, the one half. Um, we're not gonna be able to mount the other one because we don't have enough clamps. Enough, well, we can put the, we can go ahead and set that on there for now. Yeah. But see um, how it looks. we can't mount the other one because you'll get find more shorter stainless hardware. So um, let me see that. Hand me that other stack. And we'll get a shutter on there. Woo! I'm so excited. Just can't hide it. Cannot wait to tear into this motor tomorrow, guys. I have been for a while since I've worked turned some wrenches on some diesel stuff. Ooh, can't wait. We gotta make air hoses too. That's a big pipe. I know. Here you go. Alright. Numbers. Probably put the numbers to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I pray. I don't fall and drop it. I'm a good. Oh yeah. Now who's getting the ladder to slide the clamp over the top? Those babies gonna look so freaking sick. Yeah, the back. Oh yeah, those things are so tall. They gotta be shorter than like 13.6 or something. We aren't going under any red lights in town. Hopefully it's not too tall. Oh dang it. Come on now. Come on now. Ten foot. Oh, ten foot from the tank. Top of the tank is no, ten foot. Measure it right. Okay. I want you to hold this still once I get it up there. All right, hold tension on that. Hold, just hold it down. You got it. Thirteen ten. <laughs> Barely. And thirteen two is 13, where the max. Is? I think thirteen eight is the legal limit. Ooh. So we're, we're going to put another follow. we're so going to put another bad. foot stubby up there right no no <laughs> i mean i guess we could do another six oh now we really can't loosen it yeah anymore. well you could flip this clamp over but that's too much work <laughs> all right mm. well i guess we need to get um a uh clamp to go right there yeah to hold that still yeah you gotta take it back off <laughs> yeah, we scratched that up good, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Maybe we can bump it out. Well, the cab's going to cover all that, though. Or oh, most yeah, that's of true. It. The stack will be hidden. So, well, either way, we want to try it. We don't want to botch it all up. All right. Dang, that looks so good. Let's see, let's see if we can find some stainless hardware get the other side. Well, it turns out, guys, we're going to be able to get this stack on. We've got to hurry up and get the heck out of here because we've got to go look at the uh, secret for the... Yeah, you just have to wait. We're gonna get the stack put on here right quick. Got the anti-seize ready to go. Okay. Well, see if I try to find a tripod in here. Yeah.
Well guys, there they are. The stacks are installed. They are a little tall, um, but it could be on uneven ground, stuff like that. So what we'll do is we'll find a parking lot one day and check them, but they're only two inches too high, I think. So we might be able to get away with that. Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna do some research, but uh, yeah, they look sick. Only problem we ran into is the power steering reservoir is in the way it's we need to drop it i think what we're going to do is i'm going to um loosen these adjustments up right here and lower it as low as possible and see if we can get away with that um if not we may have to move it up here to the front which is going to suck because i just put that big huge expensive hydraulic line in there so um but either way we're gonna make all this stuff work we're gonna try not to hagger it up too bad yes it looks so good though those six inch pipes it's like the perfect size not too big not too small they look great i think and you get behind this thing you're not knocking what thing going down the road oh yeah especially with them like right there underneath the headache rack they look sick it's gonna look so good and i'll wait to hear this thing rumble so aaron and i are about to dip out make sure you guys stay on the video we are headed to go check out a new project we're gonna be buying in about a week and a half you guys are gonna freaking love it it's gonna go right in line with the semi stuff it's not a semi but it's kind of uh almost close so tomorrow's video we'll be back out here getting the injection pump off of it which is right here i'm gonna do some research on how to tear that baby off it doesn't look like it's too complicated so get the injection pump off of it get the injectors out of it and get the turbo pulled off so that will be tomorrow's video not a winch at wednesday tomorrow until i get my white lightning truck back fixed so hold tight guys we're headed out to go check out a new project oh dang there it is guys we're gonna switch over to iphone put it just a little bit brighter there it is guys we freaking made it here this is our future project obey what you think i think it's nice <laughs> Oh my gosh. Do the horns work and everything on the front? Are they air or are they electric? Yeah. Oh, they are air? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Sick. So guys, this is a water truck, fire truck. It doesn't have a ladder or anything, but it does have a ton of hoses, storage boxes, everything. All the lights work. Check all this out. Even got the nozzle. When you, when you need to pressure wash your uh, when mud truck. Pressure wash the mud truck, yeah. All the gauges. Oh my gosh, guys. This is like leather, too. Apparently, it's fire So exciting. Too. Well, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. We're going to check out the truck and do a little more research on it. Be looking out for the video coming about a week and a half, two weeks in one there. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited to see us take on this project. We're probably going to paint it red. Um, we're going to do all kinds of crazy stuff with it, but it's going to make so much fun. Make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, let me know, and subscribe, guys. Enjoy.